I feel so like sassy with this high ponytail. Oh, I just got stuck in my lip gloss. Like, I wish it didn't give me a headache every time I wore my hair like this, which I never do this, but like, I feel so sassy. Like I could just take over the world with a high pony. <laughs> Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to sit down and just do a little follow up video. A couple weeks ago, I put up a pack with me video, all of the makeup that I was taking on at my beach vacation with me that I just went on. And I had a subscriber ask for me to do a follow up video and kind of say like, what did I actually use? And I thought that was a good idea. So before we get started, don't forget I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday for you guys. If you like this video while you're watching it, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It really does help my channel out. And other than that, if you're excited and you want to hear about the makeup that I, like, I actually use, like, come on, I overpacked. But what did I actually use? Then let's go ahead and get started. This makeup right here. I was trying to go for the whole like minimal light coverage, no makeup, makeup kind of look, which if you are not new to my channel, that is not my jam. I love full coverage, cover me up. I've got redness, acne, acne scars, all of the above. I want to just cover everything up, but we are going to a pool day after this at my parents' house. So I figured let's do a light coverage sort of makeup look. I thought about wearing it over to their house, but I think I'm gonna end up taking it off and just going bare face so I can reapply some sunscreen. And my hair, I never wear my hair like this. Mike walked into the bedroom and he was like, I've never seen your hair like that before. And I'm like, yeah, I never wear it like this, but it's already giving me a headache. I just wanted to do something different. I just wear my hair the same way every single time on a video, either a low bun or it curled. So I wanted to do something different. I'm gonna have all the makeup products that I do have on my face listed and linked down below in case you're curious. But yeah, I just wanted to do a little something different. You know what I mean? If you did catch my pack with me video, I overpacked. I overpacked. And even in that video, I knew I overpacked because we were going on vacation with 11 people, eight adults and three children. And I knew we weren't going to be going out to dinner very often. We only went out to dinner twice. And that is the amount of times I did my makeup, two times for those two nights we went out. So in packing my bag, I knew I wasn't gonna use all this, but I wanted to just have options just in case. Also, if you were curious, we went to Oak Island, North Carolina, bought a t-shirt there, figure I would rep it while I'm doing this video. The beach was beautiful. Um, I highly recommend if you are anywhere near North Carolina or can drive to it, Oak Island is a beautiful area to stay in, so recommend it to you guys. All right, let's start off with the fun part, which is eyeshadow. I only did my makeup twice, and I used two out of the three palettes that I ended up taking. I ended up using my Natasha Denona Mini Nude Palette. I had a feeling I was going to use this just because it's such a good go-to vacation palette for me. It's beautiful and simple and easy, and I really do love it. I'm gonna be popping up pictures here of my two looks that I did. They're gonna be like really awkwardly zoomed in because it's pictures with other people, and I'm just gonna cut those people out because it's not their channel. I don't have consent to uh, put those pictures up on my channel. You know what I mean? So it's going to be real zoomed in and it's not, they're just selfies. So they're not really going to be showing off the makeup super nicely, but they're the only pictures I got to show you what my makeup looks were. So one of them, I use this. And then the second makeup look I did, I did go ahead and use my Patrick Ta Major Dimensions 2 palette. I did pretty much my go-to typical look with this palette whenever I use it. I use this in the crease, this um also in my crease and then one of these two shimmers i think this one all over my lid it's my favorite it's my favorite shimmer and anytime i use this i just feel really super beautiful in this palette so i knew i wanted to use both of those the one that i brought that i didn't use that i'm not surprised i didn't use is the natasha denota sunrise palette i think this palette's beautiful i didn't not use it because i don't like it or enjoy it i just wasn't in the mood for super colorful makeup and because there were 11 of us a couple of times that i did my makeup we were all going out to dinner pretty much so i was like i'm not gonna have 10 other people wait for me to do my makeup i want to do really fast quick simple easy makeup so that's what i was doing and you can get like simple fast looks out of this palette but i just wasn't feeling super colorful if you wouldn't know what i mean I actually did go ahead and use both of my primers. I knew I was gonna use the Hourglass Mineral Veil just because it's like the best primer ever. I love it. But I wasn't sure if I was gonna use my Tarte Timeless Smoothing Priming Base. I believe this one. Yeah, that's what it's called. This is just a really good smoothing um, primer for your pores in your T-zone. I actually did use this one of the two days. The other day I was like, if I'm looking pory, I'm looking pory. I don't care. <laughs> I only packed one foundation, so I did end up using this, the Physician's Formula Butter Believe It Foundation Plus Concealer. I have the shade Fair. And actually it was funny because the one, the first time I used this, I was like pumping it out and it was like not coming out very well. It was like spitting because it's towards the end, if you can tell, like it is almost gone. And I was like freaking out. I was like, Mike, I'm almost out of foundation. What am I supposed to do? So we went to Walmart one of the days um, and I picked up a new one of this. It's my favorite foundation ever. So I am not upset about that. Uh, so when I finish this up, I already have backup because it's 
Love that foundation a little bit so much. I did go ahead and mix in my Purito Sika Clearing BB Cream in the shade number 21 Light Beige one of the two days. I think the other day I just used the Physician's Formula on its own. I never ended up having to mix in number 23 at Natural Beige. Yo girl did not get as tan as she thought she was going to. I ended up getting heat rash. I have never gotten heat rash in my life. Have you ever gotten it? Let me know down below in the comments. I was getting these like red bumps and textures all over my like arms and my chest. And I've never gotten that before in my whole entire life. And I've been to the beach multiple times. My parents have a pool. So like I'm used to being out, like tanning, being in the sun. And I really wasn't even in the sun that much. I was, we all packed like umbrellas and put them up each day. And so I'm not sure, I've never, that's never happened to me before. So because of that, I wasn't really out in the sun as much as I maybe would have been. And also I was reapplying SPF 50 every like 30 minutes. So that's probably another reason why I didn't get sun. But either way, I didn't get as tan as I thought I was going to. So I never needed number 23, but I did use 21. I also ended up using my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer on the first time I did my makeup. So I like did my makeup like the third night and then not again until like the seventh night. So there was like some days in between doing my makeup. So the first night I did go ahead and use this. I was breaking out a little bit. I had mentioned in that pack with me video Video that I was anticipating my face just freaking out and breaking out and actually it did a little bit the first like couple of days but it didn't really break out as much as I was anticipating it doing so which I was really happy about because I just always have breakouts and I'm like D more am I gonna get more and I actually didn't get as bad as I thought I was going to so I didn't end up needing it the second time I did my makeup and then for concealers I only use my Kosas Revealer Concealer in the shade number 0.5 N because this was the lightest one of the two the other one the color popped pretty fresh in the shade fair 20 N this is not a fair shade I don't know how they call this fair 20 N although there is I want to say like four or five shades lighter than this one, which is good. Um, but I would not consider this a fair shade at all. This is definitely more on the light side in my personal humble opinion. Sorry, Colourpop. But anyways, I never ended up using this because I didn't need to. I did not get tan enough. So for powders, I ended up taking both of these from Laura Mercier, the translucent um, loose setting powder, and then also their secret brightening powder for under eyes. I actually never ended up using this either of the times that I was doing my makeup. I just was like, mm, I don't feel like messing with it. Not that this is hard to apply. It literally is just one extra step. But I was like, mm, I would rather do easy, simple makeup and not mess with it. So I actually never ended up using this. And I just set my whole face with the translucent one, under eyes, face, everything. Um, I love this powder. I love this powder so much. It's so good. If you've not tried it, I would. Bronzers. I only use one of them because like I said, I did not get as tan as I thought I was going to, so I didn't need, I probably didn't need to pack like one for my lighter days, one for my tanner days. I really was thinking I was gonna come back a bronze goddess and that unfortunately did not end up happening. So I ended up only using my L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear bronzer in the shade Fair. This is a gray bronzer. It's a gray bronzer, you guys. Is it worth like $15? Probably not because like, what the heck L'Oreal? You're supposed to be a, a drugstore brand and this is not drugstore prices, but I digress. I really do love this bronzer. I didn't end up using my Ilia a Drawn In Nightlight Bronzing Powder. I could have. Honestly, I use this in the wintertime when I'm fair. I could have used this. I just didn't. Also, this is a little bit more foolproof because it's not as pigmented or as just like wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. So this is a little bit easier to just fluff on your face without having to really think about it. And this one right here is just, it just takes a little extra thought. Being a little extra careful so you don't go overboard and make it patchy too pigmented. I still love the sponsor, but I just, I don't know, man. I just didn't reach for it. L'Oreal's my gal. I just dropped one of the blushes. Oh, it's like all the way, dang it. It's like all the way over there. I just stabbed myself with my computer charger crawling down on the ground. All right, anyways, I took three blushes. I only used two of them. The one I did not use, the one I did not use was my Patrick Ta for face. This is their uh, Double Take Cream and Powder Blush in the shade She's So LA. I love this blush. Like I didn't use it just cause like I don't like it or anything. I don't know, I just never ended up using it. The first time I did my makeup, I did just a really simple eye look and then I ended up using my Pat McGrath Labs uh, blush in the shade Electric Bloom. This was the first time I had used it. This is stunning on the cheeks. I'll pop up the picture again. It is so beautiful. It's a little bit pigmented. I did have to be careful and not go overboard with it because it could look like kind of crazy if you're not careful. But I just put on like a really simple light layer and this on your cheeks is so like bright and fun and poppy and summery. Oh, I loved it. And then the second time I did my makeup, I went ahead and just used my Bare Minerals bronzer in the shade Kiss of Pink. 
mm, this blush. This blush is so good. It's literally one of my favorites ever. I like literally ever. It's so stinking good. If you have not tried it, I highly recommend. For highlights, I can't remember. Did I use both of these? I want to say I did. I feel like on the first day when I used my mini nude palette and that was a little bit more of like a champagne-y sort of eye look, I did go ahead and use Champagne Pop from Becca. And then the second time when I used my Patrick Tom Major Dimensions 2 Rose Palette, that is a mouthful. I think I used Nobel Ozone. So I think I did end up using both of these. Again, this was a little bit more champagne-y. This one was a little bit more goldy. They end up looking pretty similar on the cheeks. I don't think anyone was like, wow, Emily, you used champagne highlight today. You used a gold highlight today. I don't think anyone notices or cares. I just notice and care. So, but I do think I ended up using both of these. I also use my NYX glitter primer because you guys know, you know, I never do my eyeshadow without this, like literally ever, ever. It's so stinking good. And then my Tarte Man Eater, this was the only mascara I packed. So obviously I used it. Same thing with the e.l.f. Wow Brow. This was the only brow product that I packed, so I did use it. It's what I have on my brows today. I just love this stuff. It makes your brows just look so natural and fluffy. And can I do the one? Oh, I can. Okay, anyways, I love this stuff. Also use my NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. Again, only eyeshadow base I packed. But the Shamas ate one, you guys. I recently, oh my gosh, my. <laughs> That was Mike turning on our faucet. I um I just looked over and just saw like someone walking up and for like a split second, I didn't know it was Mike. I thought someone was just walking in our front yard and it scared me. Anyways, um, anyways, I recently got the Shop Miss AI primer and that is bomb. Like it is like rivaling this one. And obviously that one is like a fraction of the price. So I like both and I this is the only one I took because I didn't have the Shop Miss A one when I was packing. Never ended up feeling sassy and did a wing. I don't know. I just, I kind of knew I wasn't going to, but again, I just want to, I never want to be somewhere and be like, man, I really wish I had blank product and then I didn't bring it, you know? Like if I was like, I really want to feel sassy tonight and add a brown wing liner and I wasn't able to do so, um, I would have been bummed. But I never, I packed this and then I didn't use it, but that's okay. And then obviously I used my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Not only is it the best setting spray ever, and I say that wholeheartedly, I really truly mean that. Um, it was also the only one I packed, so like, yeah, I used it. Last but not least, we have lippies. I packed a lot of lippies, and I ended up using three. Like three whole products out of 10. So the ones that I ended up using was my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the shade Iconic Nude, because you guys know I'm obsessed with this lip liner. I'm literally obsessed with it. And then I ended up pairing it with the Milani Matte Fetish Color Lipstick in the shade Tease. I don't know why I don't have that memorized. I love this uh, lipstick. I used these together on the second night, the one with the Patrick Ta Rose Palette. I'll pop up the picture again just so you guys can see. I mean, there's only two pictures for you to look at. You're probably like, I remember what the look looks like, Emily. You don't need to keep popping up the pictures, but I'm going to. Anyways, I use this combination. It's such a good nude go-to combination. And then the first time I did my makeup, I went ahead and used the Patrick Ta. This is his, um, what is this called? Major Volume Plumping Gloss in the shade Full Syringe. It's actually the gloss I have on today. I don't have anything else on with it, no liner, anything like that. And that's how I wore it on vacation as well. I actually paired this gloss with this blush on that day. It was a beautiful combination. And actually, I definitely could have worn this blush today. You know what? Let me add some. Why not? I used a Flower Beauty Cream Blush. I feel like it's fading a little bit. So I'm gonna just do a little demo of this beautiful bright blush for you guys. I'm just going to tap a little bit on. Like it just gives the most beautiful bright flush to your cheeks. Ooh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did I go overboard? Probably. I'm doing it in a phone and not a mirror. But yeah, like this lip gloss and this blush, I feel like they were a match made in heaven. They were meant to go together. So I really love that. That's what I did on the first time. So that means I had like a lot of lip products that I did not end up using. I did not use either of these lip liners, the BK Beauty Everlast Lip Liner in Sweet Pea or the Makeup by Mario um, Ultra Suede lip Sculpting Lip Pencil in Hue. I didn't use them. I also didn't use my Natasha Denona Lipstick in Beatrice or my BK Beauty Lipstick in the shade Kindness. I love all these products. I don't know, I just didn't use them. Nor did I use my ColourPop Long Lip in Cockatoo, which I'm actually a little shocked by because I love this lip product with like my whole entire heart i use it all the time but again i mean i really only did my makeup twice so that's probably why um i also didn't use my ColourPop luxe lip oil or this um kaja gloss shot in the shade milk tea look how much is left it is like almost gone i need to use this up although i have a backup i bought the full size during the sephora sale recently because 
it's such a good lip gloss i love it so i need to finish this one up but that was it you guys that was an update on what makeup i actually wore on a vacation i don't know if any of you guys care about this or if anyone is watching this video. My pack with me did pretty decent on my channel, so thank you if you were one of those people who watched that video. But I don't know if this one was interesting to any of you guys, but I hope you guys watched it and I hope you enjoyed. I always like doing, I always try, I say I always like doing like follow-up videos, letting you guys know my thoughts on things, but I feel like that's not something I'm like that good at. I'm trying to incorporate like speed reviews and like following up and letting you guys know like what I think about products, what products I used in my on vacation and that kind of stuff. So to the subscriber who suggested me do this video, thank you so much. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. You're awesome. I love you. Please subscribe if you have not yet. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.